Before I do an example of major overhauls and inspections, let's just remind ourselves of the basics. An overhaul is when an asset, based on a recommendation from either a manufacturer or past experience, is taken apart, cleaned, inspected, and then put back together again. An inspection may be part of an overhaul, but it may also be a separate check on an asset, completed periodically to make sure that the asset is in good working order. If the overhaul or inspection meet the recognition criteria, meaning that it improves the asset's service potential, then the cost can be capitalized and depreciated until the next major overhaul or inspection. Similar to replacements, the carrying value, which is the original cost less accumulated depreciation, of the previous overhaul or inspection, when it is known, must be derecognized or written off. We do that when the subsequent overhaul or inspection takes place. If the carrying value of the original overhaul or inspection is not known, it must be estimated and then written off. Let's do an example. We'll start by reading the question. Julian Corporation operates a fleet of refrigerator trucks. The company has a policy of overhauling their trucks every 40,000 kilometers of use, which is approximately every two years. They purchase a truck for $250,000 and expect to drive the truck for 300,000 kilometers over its useful life. A. When the truck was purchased, they determined that the cost of the benefits to be restored by the overhaul at 40,000 kilometers was estimated to be $30,000 based on current overhaul costs. They recorded the estimated cost as a separate component. At 40,000 kilometers, the truck was removed from service and overhauled at a cost of $38,000. When the truck was at 42,000 kilometers, the driver noted some problems, so the company removed the truck from service early and had it overhauled at a cost of $42,000. Provide the required journal entry or entries to record the acquisition and both overhauls. Let's start with A. We'll leave B till later. I'm going to give myself some room. The first thing we have to do is record the acquisition. We're going to split the $250,000 into two asset accounts. The first one will be the truck. We're going to take the $250,000 and subtract the $30,000 because the $30,000 will be a separate component truck overhaul. Now we can set up the truck overhaul as a separate asset, $30,000. I'm going to assume that we paid cash, $250,000. Now, fast forward two years. The truck hits 40,000 kilometers and it's removed from service for its first overhaul. We need to eliminate the original truck overhaul and the accumulated depreciation to date, but in order to do that, we have to calculate the accumulated depreciation to date. We know that the 30,000 has to be depreciated over the 40,000 kilometers that were driven. So we're going to calculate it using units of production, also called units of activity. $30,000 divided by the 40,000 kilometers. This will give us the depreciation per kilometer. 75 cents per kilometer. We now multiply that by the number of kilometers driven, which is 40,000. Of course, this is equal to the $30,000. So we know that this asset, truck overhaul is fully depreciated. We can now eliminate the original overhaul. We're going to debit the accumulated depreciation because accumulated depreciation right now has $30,000 in it. And we're going to credit the truck overhaul to get rid of it. Because the accumulated depreciation is equal to the value of the asset, there is no loss. Now let's record the cost of this first overhaul. The truck overhaul cost us $38,000, so we're going to record $38,000. And I'm going to assume we paid cash. Now fast forward to the second overhaul. Remember that the truck was removed from service early at only 72,000 kilometers. Let's determine the accumulated depreciation that was taken. We take the value of the previous overhaul. 
we divide it by the number of kilometers that were expected to be driven, 40,000. This allows us to calculate the depreciation per kilometer, 95 cents per kilometer. We're going to multiply that by the number of kilometers that were actually driven. How many kilometers was the truck driven? Remember, it's 72,000 kilometers right now, but the truck had already been driven 40,000 kilometers before the first overhaul. So we have to take the 72,000 kilometers, which is what we're at right now, and deduct the kilometers that were accounted for before the first overhaul. So we're going to take 72,000, subtract the 40,000 kilometers that were already accounted for to determine how many kilometers were driven since the first overhaul, 32,000 kilometers. We can now use this to calculate the accumulated depreciation to date. $30,400. That's the amount of accumulated depreciation to right now at 72,000 kilometers. Now, we need to eliminate the previous overhaul. We're going to debit the accumulated depreciation for the amount of accumulated depreciation that exists right now, 30400 we're going to credit the truck overhaul for the previous overhaul to eliminate it, $38,000. The difference is going to be the loss on the truck overhaul. Difference between $38,000 and $30,400, $7,600. So the accumulated depreciation account is now zero and the truck overhaul account is now zero and we have a loss on truck overhaul on the income statement of $7,600. We now have to recognize the cost of the current overhaul. The cost of the current overhaul is $42,000. Debit truck overhaul $42,000. And we're going to assume we paid cash. And so it continues. Every time the company performs an overhaul, they have to eliminate the prior overhaul. If it's fully depreciated, no loss. If it's not fully depreciated, there's going to be a loss account. And then we have to recognize the cost of the current overhaul as an asset and then do it all over again. Let's move on to B. B. When the truck was purchased, no separate overhaul component was recognized. At 40,000 kilometers, the truck was removed from service and overhauled at a cost of $38,000. The mechanic who performed the overhaul estimates that the cost of overhauls has increased by 15% over the two year period since the truck was purchased. When the truck was at 72,000 kilometers, the driver noted some problems, so the company removed the truck from service early and had it overhauled at a cost of $42,000. Provide the required journal entry or entries to record the acquisition and both overhauls. Now, note when the truck was purchased, there was no separate overhaul component. This means we have to use an estimate. Let's start by recognizing the purchase of the truck. In this case, because there's no separate component, we're simply going to debit the truck for the full $250,000. And we're going to assume we paid cash. Now, fast forward to the first overhaul, which is when the truck was at 40,000 kilometers. Our first step is to eliminate the cost of the overhaul, which was included in the cost of the truck, included in the $250,000. We know that the mechanic says the overhaul costs have increased by 15% over a two year period since the truck was purchased. We also know that the current overhaul costs $38,000. We can use this information to estimate the cost of the benefit of the overhaul, which is included in the $250,000. We're going to take the current cost of the overhaul, $38,000. We're going to divide it by 1.15. I'm going to round the outcome to zero decimal places. 38,000 divided by 1.15 is equal to $33,043. So we now know that the estimated cost of the overhaul that's included in the $250,000 is $33,043. Now we have to figure out how much was taken in depreciation since the truck was placed into use until this point at 40,000 kilometers. So we're going to take the value of the benefit of the overhaul, 
$43, and we're going to divide it by the number of kilometers over the life of the truck. So why are we dividing it by 300,000 instead of dividing it by 40,000 kilometers? That's because the truck is being depreciated over its useful life, which is 300,000 kilometers. So depreciation is 0.11014 cents per kilometer. We're now going to multiply that over the amount of kilometers that are driven, 40,000, and we're going to round it to the nearest dollar. Four thousand four hundred and six. This is the amount of depreciation taken to date that relates to the truck overhaul value of thirty-three thousand forty-three dollars. We can now eliminate the estimated cost and the related accumulated depreciation from the truck account. We're going to debit the accumulated depreciation truck for the four thousand four hundred and six. Notice we're removing this from the accumulated depreciation truck because it's the truck that has been depreciated. There is no separate component, so the depreciation is from the truck depreciation account. We're also going to get rid of the value of the overhaul from the truck account, and that's a credit. $33,043. What about the difference? The difference is going to be the loss on the truck overhaul. 28,637 dollars. Let's show what that would look like in the T accounts. The truck account starts with 250,000 dollars. The accumulated depreciation on the truck is going to be the value of the truck divided by the 300,000 kilometers and multiplied by the 40,000 kilometers to date. We're going to round that to zero decimal places. The total accumulated depreciation on the truck as a whole is $33,333. We can now remove the value of the overhaul from the truck account. And we can remove the accumulated depreciation related to the overhaul from the accumulated depreciation account. The value in the truck account? $216,957. Which is the value that relates to the truck alone. How much is left in the accumulated depreciation? $28,927, which is the depreciation that relates to the truck alone. We can now recognize the cost of the new overhaul. That's going to be a debit to truck overhaul, $38,000. And it's going to be a credit to cash, both for $38,000. So note, we had to first estimate the value of the overhaul that was included in the original value of the truck. We then had to determine how much depreciation had been taken to date, remove the overhaul value from the truck account, and remove the accumulated depreciation related to the truck overhaul, and then record the new overhaul. Now, all of the remaining entries are identical to Part A. We take the second overhaul, calculate the accumulated depreciation, eliminate the previous overhaul, and then record the new overhaul for $42,000. No differences whatsoever. Notice again that the only change between Part A and Part B is the fact that for Part B we had to estimate the value of the overhaul that was included in the cost of the original asset because component accounting had not been used. After this first overhaul, all the entries are identical.